some of the gyms that we go to are in big cities. They're easy to get to. And then other ones are in the not so easy places in Gibsonville, North Carolina. People are asking, what are you doing here? You know, and we're come to find the best gyms in the world. I'm Big Ron Partlow, and this is Mutant on a Mission. So he told me I can't get in unless I have a card, so get in somehow. There we go. How's it going? What's up, man? What's up? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm Ron. I'm Matt. Matt, good to meet you. Yeah, man. These are the boys. We got What's Kai. Kai. And Jax. And Jax. Good to meet you guys. Yep. So it's Kai Jax Gym. That's it, man. So they run the show. Pretty much. Or don't tell them that. Yeah. They yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having us. I, yeah. I actually uh, saw you on Facebook a couple years ago. Oh, cool. And I made a mental note in my head. I was like, that gym looks crazy. What's going on there? Yeah. And I remember I even like mapped you. And I was like, oh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Because, you know, back when the show started, we were trying to shoot where we were already going. Yeah. And uh, But now that the show's grown and I can go wherever I want, I said I want to go to Kai Jack's gym. That's what's up, man. So here we are. So show, show me around, man. Your gym, I mean, just from the looks of it, it sort of falls into this special genre of gym that I've discovered, right? There's right. The, the tiny little dungeon gyms. There's the semi-corporate, but still hardcore, like the guys that have really gotten like that sort of style of gym going where the bodybuilders are still there, right. but they've got the real modern thing. You have what I call an equipment collector's gym. Yeah. I'm not a big bodybuilder guy, but I love gym equipment. Yep. And that's why we have 12 leg presses. That's why, you know, I want to bring five more in. We don't need them. Right. You know, but I love it and we're going to do something to make it happen. Yeah. Absolutely. And you get a, a certain type of member at a gym like this too, who appreciates oh, yeah. 12 different leg presses. And I mean, it's just an ocean of equipment. Yeah. Well, let's have a look around. You, you look like you've got a real bodybuilder setup here. Like this looks like it's all chest. Yep. And you got all the back stuff here, yes. leg stuff over there. So it's, uh, yeah, show me what you got. This is our circuit. It's 43 pieces. Okay. And it's got a lot of good accessory pieces. For example, chest. So our chest section is down there. It's got 30 some pieces. But then you come here and we've got a 70 degree fly. Okay. We've got a 50 degree fly. Right. A 30 degree fly a standing fly, two of the normal flies that you see in every gym, the seated flies, yeah. and then there's a nebula fly stuck over there. So it's, it's a, it is a boring circuit that's not so boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a ton of variety. Well, at any other gym, you, the circuit would be all one brand. Right. Yeah, it'd right. be a 12 piece circuit. 12 and piece circuit, so one, one for each body part. Yeah, you call Life Fitness, hey man, uh, we need a circuit stat because we're opening next week and that's what you get. Yeah. This took 12 years. Yeah, you know? to find these pieces. And, and some of the stuff I found for nothing. Some of them I had to pony up and pay, you know, $3,000 for. Yeah, yeah, And for yeah. an equipment guy, you just don't do that. Because you're you used buy, to getting a deal. Yeah, you buy things for 50 bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah. So after the circuit, it's all different body parts. Everything else in the gym is kind of by the body part. We got the things that are just really hard to get these days. They were made back in the golden era of gym equipment, the 90s. So we got the turf area to do tire flips, strongman carries, sled pushes. We got a lot of guys there. in here that use the turf. A lot of girls. Oh yeah, yeah. If we took this turf away, we would we would die. Oh People really? So it gets used now. a lot. Okay. Free weight. <laughs> yeah, free weight area, and you know I'm real. I'm a really big fan of Body Masters. I just love the way they did stuff. I carry in. 
So we got a Icarian match here and then a Body Masters match there. Yep. This is an odd, oddly placed so piece. So I it's know a, what this is. Oh yeah. Is this a Frank Zane leg yep. blaster? You got it, man. <laughs> yep. Yep. And this is our cable section and I became a attachment hoarder. You're very organized. It took me an hour to pick them up off the floor yesterday. They're supposed to stay like this. Right. But I think I need to put a picture, like a two by four mount a picture of how it goes. This is our butt section. Yeah, we're every, every good gym's gotta have a butt section yeah. now, eh? Yeah, uh, the booty builder. This is a really nice um, oh, like the power sprint runner. Kind of power runner. Yeah. What's this? Is this? Uh, you know, what to is? be honest, I believe Pulse is a Canadian company. It's got some really good adjustments, so if you need to. Oh, okay. If you're, if you wasn't getting enough. Real tall. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the Hammer H squat. I always say this is like uh, the type of thing you'll see in a museum one day. Yeah, well, it freaks people out. You know, it's for, for us, it's in the corner. We all, when I do a tour, it's always, what is that? How do you use that? Well, it's a, it's a squat. The difference for me for this squat, when you do a leg press, you feel it all in your legs. When you load this up, you feel it in your gut. You know what I mean? Oh I mean, yeah. It's like a squat. But if you took his body right now and you flipped it up, he's in a perfect ass to grass squat. And then when he extends out, he's basically standing up. So it's one of the only leg presses that will allow you to do that. Very cool. Pretty neat. Oh. The hardest thing is when your legs are, are fucked up after you're trying to come down. You know what I mean? Oh, I know, yeah. See how athletic that was? Let's have a walk down the leg section. I think it's time to check out legs. Yeah, so we got four squat racks, a mono lift, so that's five places to squat, plus the four other squats over in the CrossFit area. I'm a big fan of this, this rack, because it's got the pins here, and it allows you to do the, yeah. Yeah, the rack deadlifts. But it also, you can slide a bench in, and you can work on that top part of the bench press. Body masters and body masters, but th this is the super leg curl. Yeah, so, so it's got a dramatic angle. angle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's got a real dramatic angle. For me, the leg presses is what kind of started this gym. I think I really like this piece. I think I used this in Venice. Yeah. Yeah, the foot plate's got a unique movement to it. Yeah, yeah, it articulates with you. Because if you, if the foot plate didn't move, it just came straight back, it would kind of be your ankle flexion that would yeah. limit you. Yeah. But here it almost means that you go a little deeper. Yeah, that's a great piece. Yeah. Welcome to the gun show. So we decided to move all our arms in its isolated area. No noise, just <laughs> you and your biceps. Just you and the pump. You know, <laughs> you've never done an overhead tricep movement until you've locked yourself in this, this bench ergonomically fits your back. You can lock in and you can Dude, that's cool. Freak. And you know, instead of just being on like a bench and then you can't, you can't get any leverage, you just, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on this, it gives you an extra seven, eight reps every time. So <laughs> I've never seen the pull down combo. I've only seen the nebula curl. Yeah. Which is very sought after. Like I've right. a lot of people tell me they love that nebula yeah. curl. Yep. And a lot of that has to do with the weight stack right in front of you versus on the side. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I mean, I don't really feel it, but it, when you get to a heavy enough weight, you really feel it. If it's on the right, you feel it more on your right side. Right, right. I know so what you mean. So with the weight stack right in front of you, it's all equal distribution. You've got like some crazy stuff in here. Oh yeah. You know, that's why I'm glad we picked back. Cause I'm like, well, I, what are we going to do? And you said, well, we got a bunch of crazy medex stuff. Maybe I'll give it a go. Yeah, man. So we're going to train some back. I'm going to train some back and we're going to have some fun, man. And uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Okay, we'll Likewise. take a little break and get warmed up and stuff. Let's do it. Let's, let's go.
was a, it was a great workout. We started out with a flex leverage pull down. I don't know if I've ever actually worked on the flex leverage pull down. I know I played around with it. I think I did a few like feeler sets on it, but I never actually worked on it. And I love that piece. It was great. This is a great pull down. Every, every one plate you add is dramatically uh, heavier. It's not the type of machine you throw. It's not like uh, some of the plate loaded rows where you can pile five plates on. It's a tough machine. on to the Medics Avenger row. Now I played with this piece when I was at Virginia Beach Iron, but I, again, never worked on it. So we loaded it up, went hard on it. It's a fantastic piece. I can see why it's so desirable. high rows. Back was completely pumped by this point after we did the, the hard working sets there was, uh, which, which really delivered. actually used the two different cable high rows, the Atlantis and the TK Star, just to feel the difference. And uh, it, was, it was good, you know, Matt was fun to train with. I had a crazy back pump. Probably the most interesting thing that we did was this MedX Avenger high row that we used. Uh, you're, 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 you know, you're, you're gonna wonder, what is that? It's uh, probably the best trap exercise I've ever done in my whole life. And then we used uh, the T-bar row, the Nautilus T-bar great t-bar I'd never used that one before it was very heavy because the weight's quite a bit out in front of you there's like a good a good foot between the handle and where the plates are so it's 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 immediately heavy
I believe that this exercise separates the men from the boys. Is there a joke coming, punchline? No, truly. I mean, <laughs> you know, like I can belly up to one of these machines and pull some weight, but this this is true strength. And then we thought, let's throw some biceps in because you've got some weird stuff here. And he had that old Nautilus bicep curl behind the head, which uh, I'd never tried that. It was very hard for me to fit into it, but once I was into it, it was a great groove. we finished biceps with the Nebula Preacher Cable Curl. And I'd seen those in, in on Instagram and I'd seen pictures of them, but I'd never used it. So we finished training, we thought we were done, and then Matt here reminded me that he wanted to have a little grip strength fun. I'm always up for being humiliated on camera, you guys know me, I don't mind. So, <laughs> yeah. so we're yeah. gonna play around with some of the little toys he's got here, because I've never seen them before. So you just cut the handle off and you have what you call blobs. So I want Oh, to so that used to be a dumbbell. Oh yeah, 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 okay. all these used to be dumbbells. Right. So you just stand here, boom, boom. Boom. Now, to the 40s is okay. The, evidently, I don't have a 50. Uh, 60 starts to get heavy, and it has nothing to do with how big your fingers are because if you can get the tips around it, you should be able to lift it if you're strong enough. Damn. I'm, I'm feeling good today. Feeling good. Ah! Yep. Yeah! God bless it! Come on, you <laughs> bitch. Ah! Hold on, wait. Just to get the magic. Come on, bitch. Oh, yeah. My bitch! Nope. I thought you were trolling me the whole time. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> I'm like 50 50 on this one. Damn. Ah, all right, I'm done. Well. So 20 through the 40 is like, you know, you got that. I like to nice. dream that my longer fingers will it, help. I mean, it's, it, 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 you know, the conjecture is that it does not. All right, 60 in the books. Oh, give it the juice. Okay. Come on, you got it. Oh, I'm on fire. I feel it. Holy fuck. Quit messing with me, man. Pick that thing up. Oh! Uh, okay, grip oh, that's world. That's fucking heavy. Okay, grip world. He turned that one a little bit. Did that count? Did it? I, I, yeah, I'll count it. But see, now you, you're making a 10 pound jump, you know? Like a, it's going, yeah, that, that's, that's an 80. Yeah. That's not moving. Wonder if I can put this one back down. Oh! Get it! Jesus. So that's good though, untrained. Not too that's bad. Untrained, that's good. That was tough. Two weeks on these and you'll figure it out. And you, you, I mean, you'd probably And then get the what, I, what I realized too, like you said, untrained, what I realized is I was really only squeezing with these fingers. Yeah, sure. These two that's fingers what, are like, I remember yeah. I had to like consciously tell myself to use all yep. my fingers. So it's Mark T for trainer. Now these are captains of crush. We do offer a free lifetime membership to anybody that can successfully close the number four. 
Which just doesn't so, happen. No, no. So you just metal, metal. But now that's the trainer. Right. But you know, once you get to the one, this is one, two, the two, not many people can just come in and close the two off the street. You gotta kinda train on it. And I'm 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 still a thumb. You're like this far. I'm a thumb away from it. So. Let me just try the trainer. So you said you kind of set it in your hand first. You can't set it any farther than a credit card. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, and then now metal to metal. It's like weird. Yeah, and that's where it's just, you know, there you go, yep, metal, metal, that's it. Okay, and, and now this so is now, a lot harder? It's, it's, it's a one and it's, yeah, it's, it's tougher. Da, 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 da. Fuck. And see, that's where that, you know, that just proves that it doesn't matter how big your hands are. It's just, right. it's just, that's tough. It's just hand strength. Now, and this one, I, I can't even move this one. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, like I'm going to tear a forearm. Yeah, there you go. Did you close it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. I appreciate having us to, uh, to you know, your, your little equipment collection here. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. This is my man, Matt, here. Owner, operator, equipment uh, connoisseur. Indiana Jones. The Indiana Jones of steel. Uh -huh, hey, I like it. Thanks, my friend. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's been Mutant on a Mission. I'm Big Ron, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.